Hello Scrappy friends, Virginia Greco here from the Crafters Case and this is my first project for the design team of the Little Paper Tree and I'm very happy to be here with you guys. So for this project I'm going to use this set of stamps called Party Fox by Avery L. And I'm going to make three birthday greeting cards using different techniques. So first of all, I'm going to use my stamping tool uh, to stamp the two uh, foxes in this set. And I will first stamp the two foxes uh, on a piece of white cardstock and then color and fussy cut them. I put the stamps on the paper uh, where I want the images to be and then I stick them to the lid of the uh, stamping tool and I ink them. One of the techniques I'm going to use is the embossing. Uh, so I'm going to ink up the stamps with my Versamark clear ink for embossing. Unfortunately, I didn't clean well the stamps. So uh, as you can see, I got some gray border instead of a transparent one. Anyway, it is not going to affect too much my project. So now I cover the images in clear embossing powder. And I'm going over it with my heat gun to melt the powder and emboss the image. I'll leave this aside and move on to the next one. This time I'm going to stamp with black ink. I'm stamping a couple of times to have a crisp image. And now I'm cleaning properly the stamps because this time uh, because I'm going to use a light ink uh, to get the non-line stamp effect. I'm using the Antique Linen Distress ink, stamping a couple of times again. As you can see, it's very light. Now it's time to color all of the images that I have stamped and I'm starting with the ones with a black outline. I'm using water-based ba water uh, brush pens. I'm definitely not a super expert in coloring, but I think that my technique is okay, is good enough. I'm using a couple of shades uh, for the uh, fur of the fox, a brown for the dark part, the sh shadows, and a brownie red uh, as the main color. Normally I make first the, the, the shadows, then I go in with the lighter color and then I go back with the darker one. I'm using the same technique for each part of the, of the two images, so there is not much to explain actually. And I will just let you watch the coloring process. I'm using some grey for the paws and the edge of the tails. Then some blue and light blue for uh, the cap of the big fox and some red for the one of the small fox. Now I'm moving on to color the embossed images. Uh, the coloring technique which I'm using is the same, uh, but the effect is going to be different because in this case we have the white outline, actually gray in case, uh, this outline all around, uh, which is quite, which makes it quite different. You will see. Again, a couple of shades. Uh, for each part uh, of the images to have uh, some darker spot and some lighter one. Now the little fox again, first the shadows and then the lighter part. And now uh, with a white gel pen, I'm adding some light spots 
um, to the images with the uh, black outline. Uh, this, together with the shadows, uh, really helps uh, to give uh, um, dimensions to the images. I really like them. I'm also adding some sort of freckles on the faces of the foxes. On the embossed images, on the contrary, I'm adding some darker spots uh, with a black brush pen. Now it's the turn of the images that are stamped with the uh, uh, light ink. Here the outlines blend in with the colors, so the final result is a sort of no line image. I really like this technique, it's my favorite, uh, because uh, the resulting images are the most realistic of the three. And again, the coloric technique I'm using is the same. But in, actually, in this case, I need to be particularly careful uh, to stay within the lines. Since after coloring we cannot see the eyes of the foxes anymore, uh, I'm marking just them with a black pen. Uh, now I'm adding the white spots as I did for the other images. Here you can see the three versions, one next to the other. Uh, which one do you like the most? I would like really to know, so please leave me a comment and here below and let me know. I first cut all the silhouettes and I also stamped and colored sun cakes and decorations to, to go with them. Uh, now it's time to prepare the backgrounds for my uh, three cards, uh, which will be about 6 by 4 inches. So I'm cutting a rectangle from a white cardstock with embossed dots, another one from a white cardstock with embossed swirls, and the third one from a sparkling light grey cardstock. Now I'm going to color two of these backgrounds uh, using my distress oxides. Uh, first, I'm going to work uh, on this piece with embossed swirls and I'm using my blending tools uh, to create a sort of rainbow, um, rainbow colors moving around the edges uh, and toward the center of my rectangle. I have decided first the colors that I wanted on the four corners um, and once I, I applied them, I will go in and add mid shades between uh, each pair of colors. I'm always using a circular motion and uh, I'm blending, I'm blending the color so no abrupt transitions from between one color and the other. And as you can see I'm using quite a lot of shades of distress oxides. This is a technique which I really like because I love to have a um, colorful background and the distress oxides blend so well that I can really uh, create this sort of uh, effects of rainbows. I decided not to cut this because I thought it could be uh, interesting for you to see the process. Okay. 
and afterwards I will work on the second background, the one with the embossed dots. And uh, I will create a similar background, but in that case um, I will create a rainbow that develops on a line, I would say, um, with parallel stripes. Uh, you will see it in a minute um, when I show you the three background, the three finished background. Here it is, is the one uh, on the um, bottom left corner with the, with the parallel stripes. Now I'm going to add some sort of confetti uh, to the backgrounds uh, using the stamps and um, then starting from the card with the embossed uh, um, foxes. So I'm stamping the confetti with, um, with the Versamark ink and then I will emboss them with clear powder. And now I'm colouring the confetti with my brush pens. I'm also adding the happy birthday sentiment in blue. Now on this card I'm going to stamp the confetti in black directly on the background. And I'm also adding splashes, uh, white splashes with white acrylic paint. I'm, I'm going to use both a toothbrush and a, a brush. And I really like this effect a lot. I call it the galaxy effect because the, the spots, the white spots, uh, look like the stars in the outer space. I stamped the sentiment with black ink, but now I'm going over it with a gel pen uh, to paint it white. Now it's time to glue down uh, the images with adhesive foam to give them dimensions. And for this card I decided to, uh, to have even more dimension to make it more whimsical by adding a few colorful pompons which I'm actually gluing directly on the uh, confetti which I stamped before. And this is it. I think it turned out very nice and whimsical and beautiful. Now for the card with the non-line stamped images, um, I decided to use colorful sequins to embellish and uh, I'm gluing them directly on the background. A few of them spread around. And then I will uh, glue down the foxes again with adhesive foam. Finally, for the third card, I made a frame with pattern paper. So here are my three birthday cards. As you saw, you can use just a set of stamps to create a bunch of different cards. I really hope that you liked this project. If you did, please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel. Subscribe also the Little Paper Tree channel and follow me on my other social media. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video. Thanks. Bye bye.